example, the prefix anti means not in favor of something or against it. If you look at the word anti-apartheid means you are not in favor of apartheid or you are against it. Suffixes like O-U-S will mean an adjective which describes someone or something. You may be in favor of the description if it is positive or against it if it is a negative description. If you are allowed to do so, look up the word in a dictionary. Now let us use the word attack skills you have just learned in activity 2. Pause your DVD to complete this activity. Remember, the more often you read, write, speak or listen to English, the fewer unfamiliar words you will come across. Let's cross over to Asanda for the last question. Okay, thank you so much. But our next question, we still have one more, is from Zanel. Zanel, how are you doing? I'm fine and you? I'm very good, thank you. Yes. So tell me a bit about your hobbies. Well, I like dancing and doing beading. Beading? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and what kind of stuff do you make? Oh, watches, necklaces, braces, the usual. Nice, very nice. And what are you thinking of doing after school? Well, I want to become an aeronautical engineer. Whoa, tell me about that. What's an aeronautical engineer? Well, that's pretty much designing and well, designing and building aeroplanes. It's pretty fancy stuff there, hey? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, right now let's focus on the English and you go ahead and you ask your question. How can I make sure I'm answering my questions accurately? Well, how can she make sure, guys? Understanding what a question means is very important. Many people perform poorly in comprehension activities because they misunderstand what is expected of them from a question. Here are some tips with regards to understanding questions. Think about each word in the question. What is the main question word and what does it mean? Examples of question words are compare, list, justify. Other words in the question are also important. Look out for the words like and, or, as well as. Number words like to or all. All these words will tell you that you need to find and write down more than one answer. Most questions ask you to explain your answer, that is give reasons, support, substantiate, justify, why do you say so? Make sure you do so or you will lose half of your marks. Think about what each question is worth. Generally, you should try to provide one fact for each mark that the question is worth. Think about the meanings of question words in Activity 3. Pause your DVD to complete this activity. You will find more of these words as you study. Make a list of all the question words and what they expect of you in your personal dictionary from all the subjects that you study at school. Comprehension activities can only be done successfully if you use all of your reading skills. You should read the passage as many times as you need to in order to understand what the author is writing about or why he or she is writing about the topic. Summarize each paragraph into a few words and use word attack skills on words that are unfamiliar. Finally, make sure you understand what each question expects you to do by breaking it up into different parts and looking at each part and what it requires of you before attempting to answer the question. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Until next time, Goodbye.
Well, that's it from me and Zanel in this lesson, guys. I hope you guys learned a lot and you learned a new technique. I'm going to see you in our next lesson. Bye. Bye.